class I've actually taught for about 20 some years, uh, but I wanted to get back in the classroom. And uh, when, we're, when actually when I decided to hire Ken, I knew he had a PhD. I knew he had taught before, and so as soon as he accepted the offer, the next question I asked him was, "Hey, would you like to teach a class together?" And given the focus of this class was on the history and current issues of college athletics, it seemed like a natural team taught class and that I would focus on the history and he focus on the current issues. And he was excited about it from the beginning. It was a pretty creative idea on his part because you know he teaches the history half and I teach current issues and history is something he taught for 20 years and his, those notes don't change. The way they're applied to today's experiences change but the notes don't change so he, he can teach it in his sleep. The unique thing here is first of all there's not many uh, University presidents who have a background in sport management. In fact, I'm fairly certain I'm the only one who has a doctorate, in, a doctorate in sport management. So that was unique. You also don't have a lot of athletic directors who have a PhD as well. So the combination was provided us with a unique opportunity. But again, it was nice um, having there are different areas of expertise that we bring into the classroom, and, and we try to as much as possible be there when the other one is teaching um, and both will interject and bring in things and different perspectives while we're there so it's a, it's a nice balance between the two of us. Cover everything from the beginning of college athletics in the early 1800s to kind of the major current issues today so we talk about conference realignment, we talk about um, you know the scandals of Baylor in North Carolina, we talk about all those types of things but we also talk about how they compare to things that happened back in the early 1900s. Uh, so it's a kind of interesting class from that perspective. For me, it's, it's extremely valuable. Um, they're both sports management professionals. They got their degrees in sports management. So for me as a sports management major myself, uh, it's really cool to see their experiences and hear about you know the daily life of the president. This is honestly the coolest class I've ever taken. Um, I went to Clemson for undergrad and you know basically was just doing um, general requirements and then I'm a nutrition major so nutrition classes and this is one of the most interesting classes I've ever taken and every almost after every class and rest of my dad um, whenever I go home I'm always asking him what he thinks about certain things that we talk about and so it's really gotten me even more interested in college sports. There's completely different angles taken on all these discussions. It's really brought some healthy dialogue and that's what continues to refine and sharpen what I think as an administrator, what President Mahoney thinks as administrators, and so that leads to us often discussing, I mean, there have been plenty of times when, we were, when we've said to each other, yeah, I, I actually hadn't thought about that, and now that I think about it, I'd maybe take a little different stance on X. I learn a lot every time that he takes the lead, and we've actually had several guest speakers come in who are experts in different areas, so I've learned a lot from listening to them uh, talk about, again, particularly the current issues part, and I've begun to think about this class a little bit differently than when I was teaching it entirely on my own. I've, I never have team taught before in all my years of teaching. This is the first time and I've loved it. It's been a fantastic experience.